Hate to break it to you, but Final Cut Pro does not come with a MacBook Pro unless you do these two things. I've been using Final Cut Pro for over 10 years, and in this video, I'll show you how to get Final Cut Pro for free. Then when you're ready to buy it, I'll show you how to get it pre-installed on your laptop and a little known secret to save over $100. And at the end of this video, you'll get some free Final Cut Pro effects worth $138 for free. Yes! So by default, Final Cut Pro does not come on your MacBook Pro, even though they show it here on their landing page for the MacBook Pros. You have to add it when you order it. I'll show you how to do that. So we'll click order now and let's get the 16 inch. And we are gonna get the beefy. All right, on this page, now we can customize it. We can change our processor, add more RAM, upgrade storage. And then at the bottom here, we have pre-installed software. So I can say no to Final Cut or I can add it for $300. I can do the same for Logic Pro. Now when I buy this laptop, it will come with Final Cut Pro installed, but only because I added it when I ordered it. So what do I do if I've already bought a MacBook Pro and I didn't have it installed? Maybe I bought the computer used and that person didn't buy it. There's no problem there. First, I want to show you the free trial. You can go to this web page. I'll link to it down in the description and you can try out Final Cut Pro for 90 days. There's no limitations. It's the full version of Final Cut and you get to use it for 90 days. That's pretty sweet. You just click on download now and then follow the installation instructions. You can also buy Final Cut Pro right from the website. Just click on the buy button and it'll bring up this window asking to open in the app store and you can click open an app store and it opens it up. And I've already bought Final Cut Pro so it says open here, but you'll have a button that says buy. You just click buy, it will download and install Final Cut Pro automatically. Now, there's a cool way to save 100 bucks. You can buy the Pro Apps Bundle for Education for only $200. And that includes Final Cut Pro, Motion, which is like After Effects for motion graphics. And you get Compressor for extra exporting powers. You get Logic Pro, which is audio editing software, and you get Main Stage, which is software performers can use to show off their music. This bundle is for teachers and students or anybody who is in the educational industry. I don't think you need to provide any sort of student ID or prove to them that you're in the educational department. So this may be a great way for you to get Final Cut Pro at a discounted price. Hey, have I answered your question? Has this video been helpful? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will find this video? Thank you. So Final Cut Pro, when you buy it, it is a lifetime purchase. You pay $300 and you get all updates for free. I've had it since 2013 and I haven't had to pay for an upgrade once. It's been awesome. So let's compare it to other software. In the first year, Final Cut Pro costs $300. Premiere Pro, 250. DaVinci Resolve, 300. Vegas Pro, 240. After three years, we'll see quite a bit of difference. Premiere Pro and Vegas Pro are now $700 and above because you don't pay once and get to use it forever. It's a monthly rental fee. After 10 years to use Premiere Pro, it's $2,500 and Vegas Pro is almost $2,400. So you can see Final Cut Pro is a pretty good deal. You pay $300 once and after 10 years, that's all you've spent. So is Final Cut Pro worth it? Unashamedly, yes. I love Final Cut Pro. I use it to edit all of my videos and it's amazing. Back in 2011, when I was first getting into video editing, I was using iMovie and it had the magnetic timeline and I loved it, but it was iMovie. I felt like I need to upgrade. So I thought about getting Final Cut Pro, but back then it was, I think, over $1,000. So I looked at Final Cut Pro Express, which was like the dumbed down version of Final Cut Pro. I was this close to buying it when Apple revamped Final Cut and put it out with the magnetic timeline. I downloaded the trial, I played with it, and I fell in love. I was like, this is how video editing should be. It was so great. So I forgot about Final Cut Express or the old version of Final Cut. Editing in Final Cut Pro is fast, intuitive, and so I bought it and I haven't regretted it since. So if you're ready to buy Final Cut Pro, just go to the App Store 
and click on the buy button and it will automatically download and install for you and pretty quickly you'll have Final Cut Pro ready to play with. So there you have it. That's how to get Final Cut Pro onto your MacBook Pro. Now that you have Final Cut Pro, I have a free gift to help elevate your video's production value. It's called Freebie Pop, and it's a pack of titles, effects, and transitions that you can use to make your videos look more professional. It's worth $138, but I wanna give it to you for free. All you have to do is click the link in the description.